All right, so if y'all don't remember, this is a two responsible for getting all of us hit upside the head for racing trucks out back. We found this in the glove box of this truck. And they light up that burn pile, though. I think these are like a grenade. I ain't a freaking grenade. It's a flare. Doesn't have no destruct. Man, get away from my truck with that. Oh, I see you now. <laughs> I wouldn't be looking down the barrel of it. It's like a grenade almost. Pepper Hill. You got to light it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what a <laughs> Pepper, no, no. No. Hell. <laughs> Hell. I thought them things shot. Like <laughs> Hell. We'll throw it in that burn pile. Yeah, we're Right, right there. there. Oh yeah, maybe it's right outside the back of my truck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we catch a fire. No, no, no. That's the grass. Dude, that's bad. Stop it out. Of water. <laughs> Dude, that was stupid. Delete me out of that video because forestry could be good. Hey, go get some water, dog. I got a warrant. <laughs> you got a warrant? Man, that thing's going to be mad about it. Anybody looking to see where the other part of it went? Come on. Come on. What's he going to do? All right, so we are out here doing a little maintenance. We are. And aftermath maintenance, yeah. it's even worse. Yeah, look, look here. We got we had a broke rotor and didn't even know it. It was broke on several of the flanges. I could feel that. Yeah, you could feel it. When I bailed off into the corner, I could feel it. You that. know, and I think you told me the rotor felt I like did. it had three of the flanges cracked on it. I did. Yeah, right. Anyway, we're uh, we got the the new Weir's bird cages, and we're putting we had new rotors Weirs on it, but they weren't new to us. Yeah, so we're we we freshening everything up while we're going back together, getting ready for East Bay Raceway. That's right. Bring it. What's up? What what's going on? Look like you've been taking parts on. Hey, happy new year, matches. Yes, I have. Getting ready for that update? Mm -hmm. That 2022 update. Yeah. Only us, apparently. Yeah. Pepper's ready to get to work with. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, good deal. All right, well, I'm ready. Tech tip of the day. Y'all ready? All right, so the uh, update on this front end that we were talking about the other day, that what we're doing is eliminating this frame horn. MB sent us these nice little templates and they line up with, this one lines up with the idler arm holes and this one here lines up with the, uh, this paper here is hard to work with. So what Chase and I did, mostly me. What? We made a, a, a template out of aluminum. So we made a template out of aluminum. So if we ever have to do this again, In other words, we can update anybody's local MB to a 2022. Yeah, exactly. So then we put a straight edge across right here and a little eyeball in them verticals on the outside and that's it. So I'm fixing to cut this off and uh, weld some new plates Not on Not with there. the old and with the new. That's correct. It's new location for our power steering. At, uh, that's where Jim said to run it at. We're gonna bring this knuckle out around here and tie it back in. That's what he said. He you're, said that's fast. You'll probably still end up spun around. Uh huh. Get him, Mama. He's talking about. Don't pick on him. Okay. Weapon of choice. The top of the wire. Talking to myself. So that's that. We're going to uh, weld these plates on there. And then we got the other part coming around here somewhere. Right here. That'll bolt to this. That goes on the passenger side. Yeah, it'll bolt on like that. That'll bolt on like that. Make it where this, if you get in a wreck, this here can be thrown away. That stays welded on. And we got something. Skitter tires ain't ready for me to No, do. no, we can just just keep unbolting yeah, parts. Yeah. Alright, so quick update here. I don't know if this is right or not, but on this side, on the driver's side, it had this little kick out here. And when this thing goes about where I think it's supposed to go, it was kicked out. But you can see, like I said, I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but I cut a notch out of it right there, a little pie shape out of the top and the bottom and I'm gonna knock that over and try to get it there where I can weld it. So, there we go. Sound right? Sounds right, don't show on my table, this is a mess. Okay, well I, I'm, I'm from here up, yeah. over here and the bottom of that one's hot. So, what'd you do with the boat? So, apparently when you weld these things, you don't put no weld right there. Tech tip. I'll talk to did you? You ain't taking them out, are you? 
Your finger hurt? <laughs> Hold the trigger down, son. Put some pain on it. <laughs> Look at the waste of paint. Where? <laughs> Shooting around it. What he said, where? That's you. What paint? Some you bought. Oh, that is. That's good stuff. Yeah. So you're blending right in. Boy, that well is really good. <laughs> Dude, your face is going to have paint on it. <laughs> you painted me, did it? Sounded like you were trying to make a song, Chase. Well, that's the point. We did just color match that. That's some good painting. Yeah. Wow, well, what that kind of look? <laughs> Crawl on. Color match. Like Crayola, but crawl on. Might need to cut that thing. I can see me getting here. carried away with this. Yeah, because it's it's matching, so it's it's really. Uh, I think you just want to keep painting. Keep going, yeah. Don't paint over. I got stuff marked on there. I don't, see it. Okay. Don't paint over the purple. You wasn't doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to paint. It. Oh, I wasn't. All right, so we got that did up. That one's still, still hot. hot. Still warm. <laughs> Rookies. Very nice little design. So now, if the front end gets tore up, instead of needing a frame machine and new uh, horns out here, we got a spare set of these in the trailer, and then our inner bumper slides right inside here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Beautiful. We're still working on the fit. See, that went right <laughs> in, boy. What? Beautiful. So then the. Uh, and then you got your nose. The exterior bumper actually bolts up out here. They got these really cool MBs. Got like one of the most recognizable front bumpers out of all uh, modified racing, in my opinion. You can tell what kind of car it is by the front bumper. I love the design. I've always loved it. Really cool looking bumper. So and this uh, bolts up right here. Yeah, so it's got these little sleeves that go out here that bolt onto this. We'll get that bolt later. Anyways, so that goes there. Cut. We'll be back in a minute. <clears throat> powder coat. There's too much powder coat. Get a hammer. You get a hammer. What are you doing? Get a hammer. Watch out. Watch. Yeah, buddy, yeah, it used to thread in. <laughs> nah, we're just kidding. We're actually going to run a drill bit through there to keep from tearing up this stuff. Are we? <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back. I'm tweaking. Get a, get a damn wrench. <laughs> get a Get a wrench and get on this. Ah! <laughs> you shouldn't put your hand there. This 
this is what it's like working with a dipstick. My mom and uncle told me, don't talk about somebody behind their back if you can't say it. So what you say? Well, I said, this is what it's like working with a dipstick. This is embarrassing. No wonder we haven't had a fast manufacturer to reach out to. All of our whole videos are blue. Yeah, every single one of them. Get a drill bit. Quit yelling at it. Quit yelling. Quit yelling. Quit yelling. That's what you need. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> what exactly are you doing here, Chase? Ringing the holes. I am stripping the bolt holes of. Go ahead and get that other one while we're here. Wish you would. Something is wrong. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Minor adjustment. What you working on, Cap? Uh, just cleaning some washers and lock washers up for our drive shaft. Or for the U bolts on a drive shaft, huh? So it is Sunday, and we are just getting out here. There's Avery. What's up, Avery? And uh, as y'all saw yesterday, we got the front end update completed. And we're starting to hang the new weirs lowers. Uh, we hung a bunch of new weirs bird cages and all kinds of nice stuff here. Uh, brake floater bird cages. We did that last week. Just freshening up everything. Going through. Our goal is to touch everything on this car. Take it off, check it, and put it back on. I found a couple... Uh, not really worried some spots but like that right there i've been watching that all season i'm gonna go ahead and clean that up weld it uh got another little spot right here i don't know if you can see that uh we're just looking over everything gonna clean it weld it and get ready for the, the season very excited we got a really busy schedule plan so i can't wait to get that going so here we go let me get to work i got fired from my last welding job because my welds were so slick the paint wouldn't stick to them well you about to get fired from this job because it's not anyway. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. What'd you get, Rue? This is cookie for Pepper. The yeah? Dog. Let's go show Chase. Hey, we got your dog. Hey! This is a cookie. Can I give it to her? All right. Friday morning. Uh, got a lot of new parts going on this rig. Got some more new stuff on the way. Uh, as y'all can see, something's missing right here. It's laying right there. Nothing wrong with it. It's a good fuel cell. It'll be for sale here shortly. As soon as we get our other one. 
Yep. So we, uh, we're making some changes, adjustments, upgrades. Uh, it's going to be a little different this year. We might be chasing our tail for a minute, but I think we got enough help and support enough. that we can – we, we should be able to get dialed in pretty quick. Uh, so if anybody's interested in this fuel cell, like I said, we will be selling and I can't sell it right now. We're supposed to have the fuel cell here either today or Monday. And uh, once we get it and get it installed and make sure everything works out, we'll have this smaller cell here for sale. And our engine is ready to hit the dyno. Our carburetor by Mr. Larry Martin is, uh, has been shipped to Mr. Ronnie Rogers at wall to wall. So he's going to put that new carburetor on, tune everything together, dyno it, and we'll have our big power plant back under the hood, and we're ready to go. We, I mean, I know it don't look like it, but, man, we, he's got body panels and extra I've body panels. and five bodies built right yeah. now for the season. So he hadn't been just sitting on his hands. He's actually been hustling and getting stuff ready, and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready, too. Yep. So. I ain't, it ain't that I don't enjoy working on it, but it's just stressful waiting on stuff yeah. and well, not knowing. And we – we kind of waited till the last minute, but we did have, we, you know, we were working, working, working on the shop. And then when we got on this thing, it was like we'd go to do something and bam, we were missing this or we're missing that or we forgot to order. And, and it, uh, anyway, that's part of it. That's just part of it. And we got all the brand new Weir's parts on this thing back here, rebuilt all that, working on the front, waiting on another lower. To come in for the right front yeah so uh for you guys that run ump as soon as he quits kicking the excess so metal somebody left a mess yeah. well. anyways uh for you guys that run ump weirs obviously makes new lowers modular lowers uh they make a plus one right front as you call and order it so i called up billy and told him that i needed a plus one right front lower and Billy's going to take care of it. Another thing that they do on the right front that we are going to be doing this year. Oh, so these bear. are some bearings. And what these are for is you come over here to this right front. You will have to order this cup in order to be able to run this. This is a Weir's Machine 485D. So what it is good for is you take your spring, you put this under here. And it pivots in here as your spring is compressed. So, you know, this keeps bondage from happening up front. This uh, helps your spring wear to last a lot longer. And uh, it's just a little thing that makes a big difference in the way your right front operates. Like I said, this does help. Yeah, because the spring compresses and it's cold. And it's so twisting it's every correct. time it's... Yeah, I like it. Where's the machine? Yep. So as y'all know, last year, a common problem that we had, and you can see this one's been welded. That one's been re-welded. These kept breaking off all last year, right and left. It didn't matter. So Weir's builds a, a lower that has a clevis that bolts on down here for the shock bracket, and it's a lot more beefier so uh that's the new design that we're going to this year with the weirs machine racing products lowers and i just got to figure out where my chain goes on here and i got a different uh got a weld yeah i got a little right yeah a little weld on clevis that goes down there so you'll weld that either on there back. or here somewhere yeah that'll be your chain well that's it we're going to close this video out right here. Well, yeah, so that's what we're working on, waiting on stuff. Hurry up and wait. Yeah. But, uh. So what you thinking? By next Wednesday will be, hopefully will look before, like a race car? Yeah, before I go back to school. I go back to school next Thursday, and then I'm half and half, you know, yeah. half a day of school, half a day of work. And that's kind of 
it's difficult, you know, especially when your car looks like this. You know, we're wanting to go on practice, but we might not get to. That may not happen. No, but we're going to try. We're pretty close. Hopefully it's up and running and all it needs is some body work. I would say we're closer than we look because most <laughs> people would walk in here and go, oh, my goodness. But, you know, it's it all came off of this thing. It will all go back on, and we're going right. to. We're going to push on. Forward. Thank you to all of y'all. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Uh, really exciting year coming up right here. We got the proof of a wrap the other day. All that's in the works, man. It's going to be amazing. We got some some new people on board that we're really excited about. We got big news coming up. So uh, yeah. it's always it's going to be a great year. It's going to be awesome. We're looking forward to it. Hopefully we have a good time at East Bay. We got a lot of fans coming to East Bay to meet yeah. us, and I'm looking forward and to if, that. And if you're local to East Bay, uh, we're going to be there the whole week. Yeah, all uh, week. January 24th through the 29th. So uh, if you're not doing anything on one of those nights, I don't know how quickly they run a show or anything, but come out and see us. Come hang out with yeah. us. Absolutely. It'll be a great time. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you all for watching. Later.